Alright, hello, my, hello. Today I will be doing the, uh, finding the decay content in, uh, simple harmonic motion. To do this, what we'll, uh, basically start doing is we'll start at the maximum, at the first maximum point, and we'll fi figure out about where, uh, halfway, the halfway point where it's decayed about halfway, and then from there we can use a half-life constant, which is the most important equation right now, is going to be one half, because that is, um, the extent how far it's decayed is equal to, um, uh, e to the negative b t, where b is equal to the decay constant and t is equal to time. So if you figure out, with that graph, we can figure out, uh, the time in which you get to the halfway point. So, by looking at this graph, you have your maximum point at 5.5. So, so it starts out right here, and then goes down, and then goes up, and then goes down, and goes up, and goes down, and goes up, and then goes down, and continues that motion all the way uh, around the x-axis until eventually you get to zero. So right now, uh, though, this is a very crude representation of this graph. Um, at about the, uh, this is the y, here's your x-axis. Okay, according to this sheet, at about one half of two point, of 5.5 .5 is, uh, uh, 5.5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.75. And it reaches about 2.75 right about on the this curve over here, on the fourth uh, maximum over here. You could also do it uh, on the opposite side. You could do it below the x-axis as well, except then you'll just be using the negative values and you can just, all you would have to do is just find the, um, just the difference between the two. Uh, just find the time it takes to get to halfway point. So it's not a big change for that one. So uh, half of that is 2.75. So according to this uh, chart, it's between 3 and 2.5. So we're going to say that's about the fourth one. The fourth one, and that occurs at about, in between 2 and 4, about halfway. So we're going to say that's about 3 seconds. So your time, the variable for time is 3 seconds. So t equals 3 seconds. Okay. So looking back at our original equation right here, 1 half equals... Uh, e to the negative bt. Oh, what we can uh, now do is say um, log, take the log of both sides. So log one half is equal to uh, uh, negative bt, since the log of e uh, cancels out and becomes one. So you know now all you have is b and t. So you can divide divide through by uh, t, your decay constant by negative t, so you'll end up with just b. So you'll, go, so you'll have log one half uh, equal, or oh, b uh, negative over t. So you'll have this. And from there, you can plug in for t as for three seconds. So you're going to have negative log one half divided by three equals your decay constant. Uh, B. So let's plug it into the calculator real quick. Uh, so where's log? So you can have negative log one half equals this. Now divide that by three, and you're going to get so point one is equal to B. When you um, plug that into the calculator, and that is your decay constant.